Hello, everybody. We're finally back, and, uh, sorry for the delay. I've been busy, and then this video did not turn out how I wanted it to, so I do apologize for it maybe not being as good as you were expecting after taking so long for me to get this out to you. But first, we're just going to look at some red shirts. Demarcus Bellamy, running back, we're red shirting him. Uh, everybody that's highlighted in red, obviously, is going to be red shirted. This Ewing guy, I don't even know if we're going to keep him because he's probably not going to develop that well. Same for this Thomas guy. You know, they'll be there, but we might end up cutting them later on as we bring in better recruits and, and such at those positions. Cameron Robinson, outside linebacker, will be redshirted. And so on and so forth. Yeah, I planned some things for this video and uh, editing did not go very smoothly. Lots of complications, so uh, it's going to be a little plain. I'm going to try and up the quality for some things, though, and then this season. I want to do some different things with editing, and, and I'm not saying it's going to be like a big change or a big, you know, upgrade from what I normally do, but, you know, I, I want to just do little things here and there to change it up and, and keep things interesting. But now to the depth chart, and the big question, who's going to be the starting quarterback? Kemp and Silva are neck and neck with their ratings and either one could be seeing significant playing time this season and uh, it's still going to be a question mark until the very first snap of the season who will be starting quarterback it's still unknown at this point Brandon Ellison, Lawrence Reese, Todd Jackson three very talented receivers Reese and Ellison in their senior years Jackson a sophomore Nick Carroll D'Angelo Holcomb and Rashid Chase all come in following those guys up in the last three spots there. Rashid Chase has a very good spectacular catch rating, by the way. So he could do some damage, especially in goal line situations, you know, uh, pointing the ball up in the end zone, letting him come down with that. Freshman EJ Fordno will get the left guard preference, but the nice thing is we have some depth. Offensive line. Mike Fitch is a backup center, but he can be moved along the line as well. So he'll likely see some time at either guard or tackle should we experience any problems elsewhere with guys like David Flores and Matt Dean. Grant Bowen and Mr. Eric Banks are in there at right tackle. Both pretty even. Again, they could be interchanged as well. Now to defense, it's Chad Robinson, Walter Anderson, Roy Pruitt. All pretty good. It'll be mostly Robinson and Anderson at C playing time at that spot on the left side of the defensive end. And of course, Robinson, one of the best defensive players we have. Jonathan Dorsey, right end. He can also play outside linebacker. He's 6'1", 235, and he's got the makeup to play some outside linebacker, mostly as a, a run stopper or a pass rusher. He's not going to drop into coverage very often. But he can do some damage out of the outside linebacker spot as well. John Jordan returns the senior 6'7", 316 at defensive tackle. Followed by Anthony Cody, Ryan Chapman, and David Brothers. They're in the middle of the defensive line. Pretty solid up the middle there. Charles Barber, 6'6", six six outside linebacker, the senior. Gets the start on the left side with Pierre Brooks following in the backup role. Barbara will get the majority of the playing time. Brian Moore, he wasn't highly recruited. We really just brought him in for depth, but he's going to be starting at middle linebacker this year. We are going to be a little weak at middle linebacker, but Moore is fast, and he's very good when it comes to to pass rushing, so he could be an important factor there. Steven Gant follows up at the number two spot there. Josh Smith, the junior, at a right outside linebacker along with Kevin Watson. Both could see about even playing time. Likely Smith will see slightly more playing time, but they will be moved in and out should uh, one or the others uh, play dip. You know, their performances dip a little bit. Justin Whittle at senior. Cornerback. Looks very solid. Donald Simmons will be the number two cornerback. John Mills, Xavier Wallace, and Aaron Davis follow up 
at this position. But as you can see, Weddle very good in man coverage specifically. 97 man coverage rating. Reggie Bolin, the 6'6 athlete, converted to free safety, is going to be our starter. The others, Chris McDaniel, Alex Sledge, will come in occasionally, but Bolin will be the main guy at the free safety position. So it will be interesting to see how the freshman handles it. He's a big dude. And he's got some good coverage ratings out the gate for our freshman. Jeff Robinson, 6'5". So we're going to have uh, the Twin Towers at the safety spot, although there's a big question mark at strong safety. Robinson could lose a starting job if he doesn't do well, and he's shown some suspect performances in his first two seasons. Tommy Patrick handles the kicking duties and punting duties, and Antoine Hopkins will take on returns. Now the schedule we've set for this season, opening up at home against UTSA, a former conference opponent when we were in the Conference USA, then a week two bye. Then go on the road to Wyoming and number four, Oklahoma, before coming back home in week five against UMass. And then we take on the conference schedule, as you see there. Three game road trip to UNC, Clemson, and Georgia Tech will prove to be very difficult. Virginia Tech in there, a road game, that's going to be tough for the defending national champions, Virginia Tech. Could be. A tough season, especially with that Oklahoma game in there, but we want to challenge. We want to get better, and if you want to get better, you got to challenge yourself. you got to put yourself out there. you got to schedule some tough games, and you got to play with the big boys. So this is how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, schedule some easier games in there, too. You know, UMass isn't a, a powerhouse. Wyoming, you know, not really huge UTSA, but conference schedule will prove to be quite tough. I mean, look at this, Virginia Tech is number one in the preseason. No surprise there for the defending national champions. Old Dominion falls just outside of the top 25 at 27 in the preseason full poll. Notre Dame number two, Alabama number three, Oklahoma and TCU round out the top five. Oh boy. It's, it's an interesting season. The quarterback situation, it's very hard to say. That's a big question mark. Uh, but the one thing we know we have is very good running backs. And I'm talking about one guy in particular. I mean, this could be a huge year running the ball. The dual threat quarterbacks we do have in Josh Kemp and Josh Silva. The two Joshes at quarterback. Both dual threats. And Kemp is actually a bit more, I don't know, I guess he's a bit slightly more accurate than Silva, and he's only a freshman, so there it is. David Dixon is number one on the Heisman watch for this season. He is the predicted winner of the Heisman for this year, but he's going to have to turn in some good performances if he wants to do that, because there are some good players right in behind him. It will be an interesting season. Here's the preseason All-Americans. Obviously, Dixon there on the first team. All NCAA team. The only ODU offensive player to make an appearance on the first team All-Americans. And Chad Robinson appears on the defense as my cat is running right up to the microphone. I'm sure you heard her meowing earlier. It's just it's what happens. Stuff happens. That's how it goes. So two ODU players on the preseason. First team All-American. And we'll see if anybody else shows up on this list here. Well, yeah, give your predictions in the comments. You know, what do you think? You saw the players' ratings in the depth chart part of this video. Um, you saw, you know, how everybody's kind of looking. You saw how we did last season. You think it's going to be better than last season? Worse or about the same? I want to I want to hear what you all think of where we could be this season. Um, I mean, I with the kind of player that Dixon is, we could go pretty far just on having a really good running game and, and having a defense that can get the job done at least. Um, you know, there are some questions on defense. The linebackers aren't top of the line this season. The defensive line is good. You know, there's that. And, and 
Todd Jackson, a second team all conference. But, uh, you know, this is kind of one of those years I'm not too sure about. You know, there are going to be some key games that we've got to win and that could really decide the season one way or the other. So it'll be interesting to see how we can end up the season. Let me know what you think. And make your predictions on who you think the starting quarterback is going to be because we, you won't find out until you see that game pop up in your sub box. That should be within the next few days. I'm going to get that banged out for you um, as soon as I can so we don't have a stupid like three-week delay. Anyway, guys, it's UTSA week one next time. Let's get it going.